banks are not willing to write mortgages for wow. houses that are under a hundred thousand dollars. Um, and as, uh, that, oh, as for, um, for residential, you mean? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. For residential, because for them, it costs them the same amount to underwrite any value mortgage. Right. But with the smaller mortgages, obviously they only make a percentage of that loan. And the percentage of a hundred thousand dollars is a lot is a lot less than a percentage of you know the five hundred thousand, which is closer to the average of the United States. Right. Thanks. Um, but so for us it was it was how do we create something that allows that still uses kind of like the regular qualification, not credit score, because I don't really believe in credit score, but uses your um your rental track record. So uses right. you've been paying rent for me, for us, it was if you've been paying rent on time for the past 24 months, then it is likely that you're going to continue to pay your rent on time. So why am I using your credit score, credit score. Right. as the as the qualifier? That doesn't really make any and, sense. And, to me. and not to cut you off, most people that pay rent, they're already paying the mortgage plus a little more on exactly. top of that. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So like you can afford the mortgage plus four or five, six hundred dollars more why you can buy. But it, go ahead. I and exactly <laughs> why you can save for the house that you're living right. in if you wanted right. it. Right. You could save. You can save that extra money. And and then instead of just throwing your money in the trash, then you, you now are building towards ownership. 